Alright, so... I've had a while to stew. And I've come to the conclusion that I was just vastly overthinking that puzzle I got stuck on. So let's go back and solve it. So my exams are rapidly coming up, um, and I think after that I'm going to be out of town for a while. So I won't be making these videos uh, for just about a week, probably. But in the meantime. So, now I was overthinking this. The blue ones have to, you cannot have any blue ones left, but the blue ones cancel out the yellow ones. So I can put this tetromino, this tetromino here. I cancel out these three with the blue one, and then I have one blue one left here, and I have one yellow left here. Then I can take this tetromino, put it there, and the one blue one cancels out that one, and then I have a straight line of this. Then I just have one tel yellow tetromino left that needs to fit there. So the solution to this puzzle is actually really easy, and I'm so sorry that I agonized it over it for so darn long. Okay. Alright. Um, I only need to delete one on the checker to fit the T in. problem is, of course, that the remaining things on the checker need to be a contiguous mass of squares, because these there's no way to isolate a diagonal group of squares, like if that one's yellow and that one's yellow. Um, so let's quickly... I mean, I've already seen the solution while I was talking about it, so I'm going to delete that one with the blue one, and that one, and then I can fit the T in like that, and the shape I get is... Um, like this, and then that one is also over there, so let's just trace that shape out real fast. Easy! I think that turns on the last of these pumps over here. So I wanted to talk a little bit, actually. Uh, one of the comments by Daisojo um, mentioned that I guess a lot of the playthroughs of The Witness that he's seen don't seem to actually take the time to learn the rules of the puzzle properly. Oh, I wanted to talk about that. Um, at this point, I guess that's just such a natural way of thinking for me that I didn't think that I'd have to explain it, so I haven't really been explaining myself there. But these really simple puzzles, the reason you'll see me try them in multiple ways is because I'm trying to figure out what the actual rules are. Um, what's going on here that, um, that lets me work with them? Um, like this one for instance, right? I can delete both. All of these solutions work as long as 
the blue and the yellow are enclosed in the same space, right? You see how by trying it different ways, even though like I got it, I I kind of established those rules. So for instance, this puzzle also just works every which way you try it, right? But Um, actually I can't really think of any alternate solutions to this, because you have to enclose one of the blue ones in with the yellow. That's okay. Oh, but I guess, so I've learned a new rule here, which is that you can enclose more than the blue ones in with the solution. Now I don't think that's true if there's any yellow ones left. So I think what this is teaching me is if there are if you can eliminate all the yellow ones, you you can use whatever shape you want. Which is fair. Um, because I think in previous puzzles I'd established, it doesn't just work like that, where you can just enclose one of the blue ones, and as long as you fit the yellow shape inside the shape that you're enclosing, it works. It's not like that. So only if you delete all of the yellow ones, you can use whatever shape you want. So, I think what's best... This is weirding me out a little bit. Hmm. I don't actually understand this puzzle. See, that doesn't work. You have to delete all of the yellow ones with the blue ones. Oh, I'm silly. So, um, the square can be deleted with all of these. The triangle you can't fit anywhere. Okay, that's the solution. Let's see... Uh, this is just... Sorry, I didn't explain my thought process, but the square can be deleted by those two, and the T, the L, can be deleted by those two. So that's how I get over here. There was an underwater tunnel the whole time. Nice. Oh, that's the puzzle. Let's get up there. And I'm assuming the blue ones mean that I can rotate them whichever way I want. Oh my. Okay, okay, so, um, if I'm understanding correctly, all of these yellow panels around, I get to control which ones of them go down. And I think there's only really two solutions here. There's that one, and then there's this one. So these two, these are the two over here, which means that those two are the two down there. Unfortunately, I need to find a way to stand over there. Or I don't, actually. Never mind. I can just... Uh, oh no, I, I do need to find a way to stand over there. This is a solution as well. Okay, I was missing a third solution, so it's really fast. Bring those two back up. That's what I needed to do. Oh, I love the fact that there's so many elements to these puzzles. 
the alternate solutions being used to navigate the world. That is the coolest darn part about this entire game. There's actually a lot of alternate solutions here. Because I can rotate it however the heck I want. I'm being silly. I'm like, there's only two solutions. Shoot, did I just get myself stuck? Oh no, I didn't. Oh shoot, there's an another one right here. Well, that would have made this a lot easier. Okay. Laser number five, I think. Lovely. Well then, um, now is as good a time as any to leave off. Uh, as I said, I've got exams coming up, so it's, uh, not exactly the best of time for me to be making videos. Probably no more until May. Let me just get out of here first. That was a beautiful puzzle mechanic. So... That was, that was exciting. And I'll probably, if I'm remembering, there's an alternate exit right here. Beautiful. I think this is a pretty spot to leave off here. Uh, pointing straight at the place I'm going to next, which I think is the area with all those mangrove trees. And I will catch you later, you lovable nerds.